and uh, we used to have a cat door so our cats, dogs could get in and out. And uh, of course, what happens is, you know, cats are always bringing stuff in, you know, little creatures that they find they want to share with you. And this is called the blue dress. When I grab Big Eddie, one of my cats, when I grab Big Eddie, the gopher drops from his teeth and bolts for the closet, vanishing into a clutter of shoes and valises and vacuum attachments and endless boxes of miscellaneous rubbish. Grumbling and cursing, carton by carton, I lug everything out, that mountain of hopeless detritus, until with no place to hide, he breaks for the other side of the room and I have him at last Trapped in a corner, tiny and trembling, I lower the plastic freezer bowl over his head and <laughs> boom, slam the thing down. Got him, I yell out, slipping a folder under the edge for a lid. But when I open the front door, it's teeming. A rain so fierce it drives me back into the house. And before I can wriggle into my sneakers, Mary, impatient, has grabbed the contraption out of my hands and run off into the yard with it, barefoot. She's wearing that blue house dress. I know just where she's headed, that big mossy boulder down by the oleanders across from the shed, and I know what she'll do when she gets there. Hunker down, slip off the folder, let the thing slide to the ground while she speaks to him softly, whispers encouraging, comforting things. Only after the gopher takes a few tentative steps, dazed, not comprehending how he got back to his own world, then tries to run off, will she know how he's fared, if he's wounded or stunned or okay, depraved ravisher of our gladiolus and roses, but neighbor and kin nonetheless. Big Eddie meows at my feet while I stand by the window over the sink watching her run back through the rain full of good news, triumphant, laughing, wind lashing the trees. It's hard to fathom how gorgeous she looks, running like that through the storm, that blue sheath of a dress aglow in the smoky haze, that luminous blue dress pasted by rain to her hips. I stand at the window grinning, amazed at my own undeserved luck, at a life that I still, when I think of it, hardly believe. Mm -hmm.